Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 31st. Happy last day of 2024 to everybody out there. And if you can't tell, I am in Hawaii right now. I'm in Mountain View, Hawaii, and you can probably see some of the vegetation behind me, some showers coming off and on here. Pretty typical for the big island. But let's just go ahead and dive into the forecast because we got some more weather coming for certain portions of the state versus others. You can clearly see the system out here across the Pacific Ocean coming in. We'll be impacting mainly Northern California, potentially bringing some rainfall down towards the Bay Area. We'll dive into those details. We'll take some interesting looking statistics. Uh, so what's been going on here across Southern California as well as we go through the video here today. Um, first things first, I was out the last few nights capturing some of uh, Kilauea. You can see Mauna Loa in the background there. And yeah, it's pretty unusual to see the fountaining from what I understand out of the crater areas. I've never seen it before and I've been coming to Hawaii and I've lived out here for a while for you know, over 20 years now. So you know, it was kind of interesting seeing this here the last few nights. It's still actually going this morning. I believe it's approaching up towards 84 hours continuous eruption there. So kind of unusual on that front. And you can see I was zoomed in here a couple nights ago as well. Some of these fountains going up 130, 150 feet. Now taking a look here, Sacramento's done a nice job here kind of showing the National Weather Service areas that do uh, include California forecast and that includes Reno, Las Vegas, and Phoenix here also. So 10 uh, uh, area forecast discussions will cover uh, portions of California. So that's why I'll show these different uh, forecast offices here. Nice stuff here from the National Weather Service Sacramento. So taking a look at Los Angeles, this still applies here. Uh, I would just call it weak Santa Ana winds. We're not looking at anything that strong, but it does bring the lower relative humidity. So there is some elevated critical fire weather for today, Tuesday on into Thursday. And now taking a look at the uh, European here, this one is hot off the presses. You see some precipitation you know, ongoing here as we go through tomorrow morning, kind of continues all the way on in through January 2nd morning. And then another potent system is gonna be rolling in here. You can see this one's got a pretty strong pressure gradient to the south some gusty winds to the coastal areas another round of mountain snow for the cascades klamath range and down for the sierra nevada as we go on in towards this weekend here and we can continue some precipitation across northern portions all the way in through january 5th and 6th before that gets out of here then we really start some ridge building here and so if you saw that not much precipitation basically none at all reached california uh, we'll continue to watch to see if things are going to change. But man, this has been such the contrast between Northern and Southern California as far as rainfall amounts. I'll show you some more on that here in a moment. And then you see me scrolling way off into the future here and no sign of rain for Southern California just yet. Hopefully that switch flips here sooner than later. Now taking a look here, I, I just wanted to point this out. We are having some energetic waves still moving into places like the coastal uh, Central Coastal California, uh, Bay Area, and North. You can see a nice set moving in here as we go. A nice large set as we go through the end of the week and on into the weekend, spreading some waves down through Southern California as we go on through Saturday and Sunday as well. So yeah, still having that elevated wave action out there. So take a caution if you go out towards the beaches. And I scrolled all the way out here on the North American model. This is accumulated 10 meter max wind gust. And you see there is not much in the way of strong wind out here with the Santa Ana wind event. The highest one I even saw was 45. And that's probably way out here in the coastal areas. You're looking at gusts maybe into the 30s here for some areas. But again, the low relative humidities is uh, what brings the fire danger. Now look at the GFS. Let's go and compare it to the European. You can see the precipitation is kind of continuing on for portions of Northern California, stronger storm system, pretty good model agreement there, rolls through and brings some precipitation across the Bay Area, some snowfall for Northern uh, California and some of the Sierra Nevada at times as well. And then like the European, we kind of turn on that ridging here and we do not have much of a sign uh, at all for Southern California as far as rainfall is concerned. And we're gonna have some high pressure back here across the Great Basin at times as well. We could have additional offshore wind events as we go on through the early portion of January We'll be watching for that on a daily basis as well. You can see we're getting a pretty robust pressure gradient there. We're way off into fantasy land here, but this is going to have been a, co a common reoccurring theme in some of the extended models. And if we take a look at total precipitation in inches, this is also hot off the presses here, the 12Z European. Let me just scroll through this fairly quickly here. And you can see again, Northern California and uh, the Bay Area is probably gonna get some rainfall out of this. It doesn't look like too much, maybe a little bit down towards the Central Coast. Maybe some of the transverse range will squeezing out a little bit here. BC, Los Angeles, San Diego, desert areas, virtually nothing until you scroll way out here and it just shows a bit of light precipitation as we go way off into the future there, but yeah.
I wish I had better news on that front. Now, looking at the day three excessive rainfall outlook, they started to introduce Northern California there and day four, again, the marginal for Northern California. So we'll see how that unfolds over the next day or two. Uh, take a look at precipitation over the last 90 days. I mean, just a ridiculous dipole. Look at just the amounts here across Northern California. Some pretty good amounts, the coastal areas, the Bay Area, Sierra Nevada, even down to the some of the San Joaquin Valley has gotten some precipitation, but Southern California, some of the higher terrain over the nine, last 90 days, but some areas have got absolutely nothing like the Los Angeles Metro, San Diego Metro, very light amounts there. You can see Western Arizona, some of Nevada and the desert areas, usually really dry, but this is even by the anomaly standards, very low. And if I take a look here, what the hundred and let's look at the 90 day you can see some areas are at zero percent their normal precipitation here very low, low amounts and much bigger amounts across northern california and taking a look at so far for december the uh the average temperature here the anomaly look at the east coast below normal but look at really the central portion of the usa and the west virtually everywhere has been above average and the Rocky Mountains significantly above average as well, especially Wyoming and Montana. But look at California, well above average so far for the month of December. And we only got one more day to go. You can click on maximum temperature there as well. And minimum temperature, not much changed. A little bit uh, minimum temperature anomaly below there across some of the desert areas. But yeah, very warm across much of the West for December. And this drought monitor was updated here on, uh, this data is valid on the, the Christmas Eve. And you can see we do have some drought across portions of California and this is really going to get going here if we don't start getting rainfall soon because uh, yeah then we start heading off into the spring and the summer months if we don't get it during our winter season that could be a big problem so I saw there was some drought development likely across some of these portions uh, of California as well so we'll continue to monitor this and of course be checking back on the extent of forecast daily there's the six to ten day above Look at that precipitation now. Look, that is not good as we go through January 5th through 9th. Maybe we'll get some huge pattern change coming up here, but nothing looming right now. 8 to 14 day above. And look at that below, just a huge swath across the West as we go through 7th to 13th of January. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, signing off here from Hawaii. Hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, I'll be back on January 3rd during my normal briefing. So I will see you guys home then. And I'll try to do um, a briefing each day here before I get home anyway. But yeah, January 3rd is when the regular briefings should resume.